This is WWJ working with Joe. I know you two fans. I thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, we've got over 1,000, and uh, we thank you for supporting our channel. Uh, anyway, uh, today we're going to go and uh, put in some braid on a, on a new spinning wheel here. And uh, basically, you're going to need a rod. And your rod, this is my HMG rod, HMG 16, that have landed, that have landed 11 Ulus. My favorite one, uh, they don't make them anymore, but I'm going to use it to, to attach the wheel to this thing here. So basically, what we had today was uh, well, a couple of days ago, we received this in the box. Compliments of Shimano, I like that, the Sustain C3000 HG, retails for about close to about $300. $300. But anyway, we're going to put 30 pound braid in this one here, that should give us about 170 yards for small game. We need to call up you know, boy and all that stuff. So anyway, I've already taken the this our, our they normally have a uh, tag in here, I already took the tag out and I already cut the uh, that's what it And what we do is uh, what I do is I put it over, over the bottom of the wheel here to initiate the lock and the power pull on the brake. smaller than the spool diamond and go all the way around like so you can see it's all the way around flat you don't want no bumps in it basically take this one off here gonna crank this in we're gonna attach this to the rod and, uh, and we've got a 30 pound brake Smooth. Anyway, what we got here is Power Pro, 30 pound braid, red one. And what I do is I just remove it from the tab. There's a rubber band inside. You take that one off. I, I, I unthread it and put it right through here and pull it out. And then I, what I do is I put it in this box here. Up in the box. I'll show this box here. The container actually, this is a container right here. Up. Right here, this container right here, I'm going to put it right inside here, just like so, just like so, and I'm going to just read it in, I'm using my fingers for tension. First of all, we're going to go through the first hole, first tripper guide, like so, and then what I do then is I make two knots over each other, it's got to overlap each other, otherwise it's just unravel. So. I don't normally slip it, it's, it should be good enough. Just one is on top of each other, like a double knot, like. Okay, we got double knot right there. If you can see, do about double knot right there. And I do, I go around three times. Spool, two, and three. And then I go two half hitches. There will be one here. And another one here. And just pull it tight until it reaches a knot. And it's gonna bear down on the on the uh, it's gonna bear down on the uh, Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna slip. Broke. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that broke. Oh, that's no good. Anyway, I'm gonna do it over. Trust you, knife here. Break on break, break, break. I don't know. Probably with a nut. Let's see. Gonna do it over again. Let's try this a little more time here. Right here. And then uh, we'll put again two, uh, one single, uh, and another one down here. Overhead. One more. Just gotta make sure that they're on top of each other. That's the hardest part, actually. Okay. And then we're gonna go again, put it on the wheel. Two times one, two, 
two and three and we go two half inches this is one Two just push two of the hand nuts and then pull it tight. Okay. I have to move the spooler. There we go. Yeah. Make sure it's not. And what I normally do now is I just use it with my finger. Make sure that the, the strip guide is over the box. So when you crank them, it's straight coming up over here. And basically that's all I do. So I cut the amount, the amount of cranks with the tighten the drag at least we don't want it to slip. And then basically you just I, I normally cut so you can take this one out or you can just check it and see it better. Or you just count how much cranks we put in. It's the easiest way to do. So here we go. All you do is you got your forefinger, thumb and three. I use it three fingers just like that to hold it tight. With the two fingers on the rod, three fingers on this. And just hold it tight and you got thread it through. Let's dangle on the tree here, branch. So we get three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Two, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighty, two, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Sometimes when you get your fingers too tight. They'll, they'll, they'll get hot so you can slow down and then crank it. We'll get 100 cranks here. It's supposed to be about 170. We'll see how much we got. So we got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 30. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, this is 170 cranks, and uh, we still got a lip here, this chrome and brass, or gold, so we got 170, I'm not sure much we're going to put in, but we're going to put in a little bit more, normally it's more than what it says, so, we go, it's, it's 170 right now, so we're going to increase with 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, Anyway, so that's 190 cranks. Anyway, that's it. So that would be the uh, at the end of sustain here. Uh, oh, looks pretty good. And then what we do then is we get my trusty little knife and I'll just cut it. So 190 cranks. 30 pound braid. In this sustain. Yeah. Compliments of Shimano. But anyway, this is how we spool them. This is how I spool mine. You said, you know, some people go to the store and have them done, but I've been doing this since 2013 or 2012 and I have never had an issue with it. So, so it's 8 pound diameter, it's about 190 cracks. There you go. Actually, looks pretty good on this. Uh, uh, 610 HMG. And you again, this is WWG Whipping with Joe Spooling. A sustained C3000 HG. Couplements of Shimano. Mahalo Shimano.
Here's a second to none. Aloha.